you see any changes in Whitney from, from last year to this year? Uh, yeah. <laughs> also happy for her. She's, um, I, mean, I said it last night, I was talking to Lindsay and, and Brad, just hanging out with them, and I mean, she's, she's doing stuff that, you know, not a lot of opposites have done in a while. Um, you know, obviously, there's been some great opposites in the Big Ten, and, you know, we've had some great hitters here at Nebraska, and, but it ain't like she's getting kills that you can stop. I mean, she's getting kills she can't stop. So I'm really happy for her because, you know, when you see the potential and you see that her physicality and, her, you know, her maturity and how she's learned to have range. I mean, she had some shots today that, I mean, you know, people aren't going to stop on the national team. And so I'm really happy for Whitney. <clears throat> what was it like to sit on the other bench in the game? It was a little weird. I, I wrote, to, first of all, I'm not really that ready or used to doing my lineup anyway. <laughs> Uh, first time I forgot like three things. The second time, the you know, second match, uh, and it was the team at the top, and I just put Nebraska, thinking like the team we were playing, and they had to come back. So, um, I mean, so many great memories in here in this gym, but obviously always on the other side. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a little different being on the other side of those roars, but. Um, you know, I mean, we knew it was going to happen, but it was pretty special. Kelly's standing ovation and, and, and you know, standing ovation for me. And that's just what makes this place special. You've been around a lot of Otto. What's your, what's your general soft thoughts on the 6-2 and then how Nebraska looks in it? I think um, I've, you know, I still listen to most of John's press conferences and read his stuff. And I think he sums it up exactly right. You know, they've done it a few times here. Uh, you got to have two setters, obviously, and you know, Nebraska has three, but you got to have two good setters, and um, you got to have you know four good pins, and you know they got five or six good pins. Uh, obviously, when Allie comes back, and they got Hayden, and uh, you know you got Maggie playing opposite, um, which we saw Maggie play opposite in camp a year and a half ago, and she was pretty good. So obviously, we didn't know that was going to be the lineup tonight, but when you have the depth of pins that they have, and you have three good setters, and you can do all that, it's uh, it's a lot of physicality to deal with. Um, so I, I think that it's a, a very good idea for them, and I think they're going to be hard to stop. Did you have Ratsy Bailey as a setter? Uh, well, my first year playing was my senior in high school, and, uh, and I did it. But I got to hit. And, but uh, other than that, that was the only time I did it. Internationally, you can't do it uh, other than the one double set because of the set rules. And I think one of the keys is that Becca Allen can serve and play defense because you're going to run out of subs if you don't have your middle serve. Um, and another key is that they have Ken, you know, Kenzie, who is one of the best outside hitters in the country You know, when she was in high school. So you know, she can hit, so they get to save a sub, and then Becca can serve. And so I think it's a, it's a good lineup. I think that we're, uh, <clears throat> I think we're a really good passing team, um, which is you know we train it a lot. Uh, learned a lot of that from Coach here, how to train passing, and uh, we we train it very similarly. And we're a really good passing team. Nebraska is always one of the best serving teams in the country. Typically, the best serving team. Uh, I haven't evaluated them much this year in general in a couple of matches, but they're always going to be one of the best serving teams. I think we passed a two six or two six five. No, sorry, we passed a two seven two which is lighting it up against Nebraska. Um, and so I thought we did that really well. We, we actually started out not passing great the first few matches. So that was a big, um, a big positive. Uh, I thought Zayna, um, obviously our hitting number wasn't very good, but <clears throat> I don't know if you guys are watching the game, but I mean, there's, it feels like there's 14 defenders over there. And, um, and I think that Zayna set a great match and um, and I think that, you know, Tori, who's um, carried a heavy load for her whole career and um, hasn't quite had <clears throat> a little bit of a breakout match. She had 308 tonight, and, you know, she got going against a big physical team. So uh, that was that was a big, big light. And, and Natalie was hitting 300 until the last set, and so she was playing pretty well, too. 
Um, but overall, I mean, you know, we wanted to come here because, um, you know, we're trying to we're trying to change where we've been at Long Beach State, and a lot of that isn't just play better volleyball. It's about experience, fan experience, support, um, uh, whether it's from the community or the fans, um, and, and get them to see what what the top of the mountain is. And I wanted our girls to experience that. We took a tour to Vanny. You know, we're gonna go to the football game. So. I want them to get excited about what we're trying to build, and you know we're we're ways away, but um, we want this type of environment, so I want them to feel that. We're gonna have to play Hawaii, um, probably <clears throat> it's later in the season. We're gonna have to play them in front of nine or ten thousand, so this is a dress rehearsal. So we wanted to know if we could stay together and play, you know, with some joy, whether the score is up or down. And because we've been playing well against other teams. I didn't, you know, I didn't know if we got tested tonight if we were going to fracture or not, and we didn't at all. From a, of course, there's some runs that volleyball wise we fractured a little bit, but uh, from a team perspective, we didn't at all. And so, you know, the moment wasn't too big for our team today, and so that was probably the last, the last positive. And on the subject of um, how exciting the fracture was, you and Kelly, what makes them your vision when you're in the tournament? Yeah, well. So a lot of people, I mean, I've been hanging out with a lot of the, you know, the girls and, and the staff and everything. And, you know, this place for me is really emotional. And um, I'm not that emotional, but there's two places that are emotional for me, Long Beach and Nebraska. And, you know, we get off the plane in Omaha, and you know, we didn't fly private here, we had to fly commercial, so it took us a while to get here. But, um, but uh, we got off the plane, and... Um, and you know, I started tearing up because I got in there. And so I, I had to go in the bathroom real quick because I want to see my, my team to see it. And the, you know, all the girls are tearing up and they're hugging me and all that. And so, <clears throat> so that's more spe that, that's part of what you know is special about this place and, and the years I've spent here with everyone. But I've said this in almost every interview um, that I've done here, which is quite a few, that. Playing in this gym and having those fans is, is just, there's, I've played or coached in every gym in the world. And there's not a gym that's like this with how they support. And so we knew it was coming and I told myself not to cry and I didn't. Um, but uh, yeah, it means a lot. What about when the uh, team came back from the locker room to take that picture after the match with you and Callie? Yeah, well, I'd already had a team hug because Cal was going with our team. So I hugged all the staff, and then all the girls came over, and we did a group hug. And then Cal wasn't there, so I had to come back. And so then it was that. And then I was out, and then they brought me back in. But, you know, I mean, you spend years with, with players and staff, and well, we've done some pretty special things here. And, um, so it's, it's, um, it's not, you know, I, I don't know. I, I got interviewed, you know, we do a press conference every week, and thank you, Lindy, for setting that up every week. And they're like, what, you know, what are you most excited about for the weekend and the team and everything? And I just said, for me personally, I'm excited about seeing the people and getting to spend some time here in a special place. And then I'm excited about my team to get a chance to play on the big stage and see how we'll do. But so uh, I'm just saying it was, it's all special. All right. Thanks, Coach.